Welcome back to Soap Scriptures. This is Mark 13. As he was leaving the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what massive stones, what massive, magnificent buildings. Do you see all of these great buildings? replied Jesus. Not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter, James, John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will these things happen? And what will be the sign that they are about to be fulfilled? Jesus said to them, Watch out that no one deceives you. Many will come by my name claiming I am he and will deceive many. When you hear of wars and rumour of wars, do not be alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise up against nation, but kingdoms against kingdoms. There will be earthquakes in various places and famines. These are the beginning of birth pains. You must be on your guard. You will be handed over to the local councils and flogged in the synagogues. On account of me, you will stand before governors and kings as witnesses to them. And the gospel must first be preached to all nations. Whenever you are arrested and brought to trial, do not worry beforehand about what to say. Just say whatever is given to you at the time, for it is not you speaking, but the Holy Spirit. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father to his child. Children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. All men will hate you because of me, but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. When you see the abomination that causes desolation standing where it does not belong, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let no one on the roof of his house go down and enter the house to take anything out. Let no one in the field go back to get his cloak. How dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. Pray that this will not take place in winter, because those who will be days of distress unequaled from the beginning, when God created the world until now and never to be equaled again. If the Lord had not cut short those days, no one would survive. But for the sake of the elect, whom he has chosen, he has shortened them. At that time, if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, look, there he is, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will appear and perform signs and miracles and deceive the elect, if, the, if that were possible. So be on your guard. I have told you everything ahead of time. But in those days following that distress, the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, Men will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory, and he will send his angels and gather his elect from the four winds from the ends of the earth to the ends of the heavens. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that it is near, right at the door. I tell you the truth, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. No one knows about that day or hour. Not even the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard, be alert. You do not know when that time will come. It's like a man going away. He leaves his house and puts his servants in charge, each with his assigned task, and tells the one at the door to keep watch. Therefore keep watch, because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back, whether in the evening or at midnight, or when the cock, or when the cock will crows, or at dawn. If he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to everyone, watch. So for Mark 13, I'm picking verse 32, which says, No one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Jesus here is talking about the end of the world. No one knows when the world is going to end, not the day or the hour. 
the dates or the time. Observation, if Nostradamus or anyone else whips up a frenzy, getting people worried that the world is going to end, I'm going to choose not to worry about that because, as Jesus said, no one knows the day or hour. I don't know if you've um, uh, heard about these uh, frenzies that have been uh, whipped up on occasion when it's been passed around. There's been rumours that the world is is going to end because someone predicted it like Nostradamus in the past. My application is I choose not to focus my energy in mass hysteria on or pessimism, but instead to prepare for that. And the very unlikely event that the end of the world comes in my lifetime. I want to be ready. I want to be right with God. So I pray. I pray that I would choose to put my focus on the right thing, Lord. Please guide me and make me more like you. Amen. See you tomorrow for Mark 14. God bless.